In just four short years, it's become the most popular sporting event in modern day history. It's frying pan tennis. What a rally. It was first made popular by Jimmy Joe Bob Frying Pan Barker of Fort Myers. Some of you may remember Barker's first loss ever to Jimmy Connors, who at that time was a relatively unknown in the frying pan world. Well, after several months in seclusion, Barker surfaced once again with his pans, this time at Winstar Tennis Village, where he planned a major comeback. Superstar tennis pro Tom Gullickson reflects on Barker. I think he's probably a, one of the top five athletes right up there with Michael Jordan, uh, Rick Barry, and guys like that. So uh, I think if he's aggressive, if he comes to the net and really takes the play to them, I think he can do it. The pans were greased, and frying pan Barker picked yours truly as his partner in the best of three games against tennis greats Johan Creek and John Legs Lloyd. And believe me, the pans were sizzling. We sauteed Lloyd and Creek in a tiebreaker. Actually, I should say we scrambled them. And I must say, we played a sterling match. Of course, Lloyd and Creek were both suffering from a burning loss. I'm glad I'm using gut in my rackets because I sure as hell I'm bad with Teflon, that's for sure. So we'll see how it goes. But that was that was quite a, a shocking defeat, yeah. Maybe a rematch next year? Hey, listen, this is going to be an annual event, so you guys come out here and next time I'll bring my own pen, all right? Okay. Showing no class, Lloyd put the pen off on his partner. Yeah, that was a terrible loss, but I have to put it down to my partner. I, I thought Johan uh, was terrible with the frying pans. I, I had a little bit more clue, which is... Uh, a little bit strange because I've never really used a frying pan before in my life in any way cooking, but uh, Johan, uh, I thought, was pretty bad with the old frying pans. Very embarrassing defeat, that was. Yeah, and uh, we did grease it up a little bit for you. And, uh, oh, you did? That, that might have uh, helped there. <laughs> well, yeah. Any reflection, uh, frying pan Barker, were you impressed with this performance? Absolutely, yeah. I thought he had uh, a lot of control out there, and uh, as I say, if I'd have had a decent partner, I think we could have still taken you, you know? Yeah, sure, John. That's what they all say. But seriously, folks, I can strongly recommend the Lloyd Creek omelet. It's really quite good. I'm Long Jabba Farr. <laughs>